you know, it's crazy how things in, in life play out and how life happens certain ways for certain reasons. When I was in prison, you know, right recently, right after I got my five years, I didn't stay at Baltimore County Detention Center long. Usually when you get prison time, and whatever respective detention center that you're at, while you're waiting to go to court, as soon as you go to court and you get your time, you sit there a week, two weeks tops, and then they s take you and send you down to a place called MRDCC, Maryland Reception Diagnostic and Classification Center. You go there to be classified, like are you maximum security, minimum security, medium security. Your charges matter. If it's a violent felony, you get a certain amount of points. If, you, uh, if you're a repeat offender, you get a certain amount of points for each time you went through the system. And if your points are over certain levels, you go to medium, you go to medium two, you go to maximum. But anyway, while I was in there, I got classified medium level two. So I went straight to RCI out in Hagerstown, Roxbury Correctional Institute. My cellmate had life plus 25. While I was in there, the first couple months, it was like reality. You know, reality was starting to fucking settle in. Like, this is real. Like, you know, the decisions I'm, I'm, I'm making in my life, this is what... I've done gotten myself into so when you have doubt in your life you reach out you know when in doubt reach out and what happens when we all get low what happens when we all get down and depressed and we have nowhere else to turn who do we talk to the almighty so I prayed and I prayed hard. I said, God, look, man, I'm tired of this life. I truly am. I mean it. I mean it with every fiber of my being. I am tired of this lifestyle. I asked God, I said, please, if you can put me on the right path with the right woman, I'll take care of the rest. So throughout my prison sentence, like I said in the other video, I was writing Cindy on and off, you know, we were talking on the phone on and off, and as my time went on, the longer I was in, stayed, the closer I made it to my exit date, the closer me and Cindy started to get. So, that was God's plan, my prayer being answered, playing itself out, and it worked. You know, you know, my prayer was being answered. I say, if you could please just, just put me on the right path, put me with the right woman, and I'll take care of the rest. So he did. He put me with Cindy. I moved in. Everything was great. A couple of years after I got locked up, in the other video I told you about with me on my GSXR 750 murder cycle, I got locked up for three Three weeks with a no bail. So, so what happened? But, you know, in, in my head, that's me going back on the deal I made with God. And he reminded me quick. He reminded me super quick, like, hey, this ain't the deal we made. If you want to go back on your deal, I'll go back on mine. You know, if you want to act like an asshole, you're going to go right back to the shit that you was in before. So, it was, it was, it was real, and I ain't fucked up since. I ain't going back, no, I've been home 17 years, I ain't going back. But I just thought that was an interesting story, the deal I made with God. I've been with Cindy 17 years, and we now have two little girls. We've been through a lot of shit, but, you know, that's, I guess that's how good, solid, real relationships are supposed to be no matter what you go through you always 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 make it work no matter if it's finances struggles disputes in the house whatever you always make it work you know and we 
do. You know, and that's our family motto. If there's a complaint, if there's a struggle, if there's a financial issue, or how we keep each other going is we'll say, don't worry, babe, we'll make it work. She'll say that to me, I'll say that to her. I just thought that was an interesting story I'd like to share. Y'all be cool.